Okay, we are ready to start. Ready? Yes. Good afternoon. <laughs> Welcome to this meeting of the Subcommittee on Landmarks, Public Siting, and Maritime Uses. I'm Council Member Peter Ku. I will be filling in for Chair Adams, who is unable to be here today. We are joined today by Council Members Miller and Council Member Barron. Today, we will be hearing four applications submitted by the School Construction Authority pursuant to Section 1732 of the New York School Construction Authority Act concerning the proposed site selections for new schools. We will be hearing all, for all four applications be considered. Um, application 20185331 SCK is an application concerning the proposed site selection for a new approximately 650 seat primary school to be located on Block 523, Locks 1 and 13R at 21 through 31 and 35 uh, Delvin Street in Council Member. Uh, Manchester District in Brooklyn. Application 20185333 for SCX concerning the proposed site selection for new approximately 458 seat intermediate school to be located on Block uh, 3014, Block 16 at 15. Uh, what, uh, I'm sorry, uh, at 1560 Boone Avenue in Council Member Samanaka's district in the Bronx. Application 20195177 SCX is an application for a new approximately 458 seat primary school to be located on Block 2871. Lot 61 and 140 at 1302 Edward Grand Highway in Council Member Gibson's district, also in the Bronx. And lastly, application 20195464 SCK concerns the proposed site selection for a new approximately 592 seat intermediate school to be located on Block 6056, Locks 12 and 15 at 650 86th Street in Councilmember Bannon's district in Brooklyn. The School Construction Authority will present all four applications and then we will have opportunities for questions. And we have uh, Tamara Smith, Gail Mandu, Mandaro, Mandaro. Okay, sorry. Yeah, Tamara Smith and Ben Goodman and me, Michael Coma, Coma. Okay, Michael yeah, Cohen. Col Col and uh, before you begin, uh, the council will spare you in. Please raise your right hands. Do you affirm and tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in your testimony before the subcommittee and answer all council member questions? I do. Okay, you may begin. Uh, identify your, yourself first. Yeah. My name is Gail Mandaro. I'm the senior director and an attorney in the New York City School Construction Authority Real Estate Strategy Group. My name is Ben Goodman. I'm a Community Relations Manager for the School Construction Authority. I'm Samara Smith, also Community Relations for the SCA. Michael Kona, Real Estate uh, Senior Lease Man uh, Real Estate Manager for the SCA. Good morning, Council Member Ku and Council Members. My name is Gail Mandaro, and I'm a Senior Director and Council in the New York City School Construction Authority's Real Estate Department. Also with me is Chamar Smith, Community Relations Manager for the SCA, Benjamin Goodman, Community Relations Manager for the SCA, and Michael Kona, 
uh, leasing and acquisition specialist for the real estate department. The New York City School Construction Authority has undertaken the site selection process for a new approximately 592 seat intermediate school facility on block 6056, lots 12 and 15 in the borough of Brooklyn. The site contains a total of approximately 25,135 square feet of lot area, 0.57 acres, and is located on the southern block front of 86th Street between Battery and 7th Avenues. The site is comprised of two privately owned lots in Diker Heights section of Brooklyn and is improved by a former fast food restaurant building and paved parking lot. The site is located within Brooklyn Community District Number 10 and Community School District Number 20. Under the proposed project, the SEA would acquire the site and construct a new approximately 592 seat intermediate school facility. The notice of filing for the site plan was published in the New York Post and City Record on March 4th, 2019, at which time Community Education Council number 20, Brooklyn Community Board number 10, and the City Planning Commission were also notified of the site plan. The CEC and Community Board were asked to hold public hearings on the proposed site plan. Brooklyn Community Board 10 held a public hearing on March 13th, 2019. CEC 20 held a public hearing on March 18th, 2019. Written comments were not received from the CEC and the City Planning Commission. Community Board 10 submitted written comments. The SCA has considered all comments received on the proposed site plan and affirms the site plan pursuant to Section 1731 of the New York Public Authorities Law. In accordance with Section 1732 of the PAL, the SCA submitted the proposed site plan to the Mayor and City Council by letter dated June 3, 2019. We look forward to your subcommittee's favorable consideration of the proposed site and are prepared to answer questions from the committee. Oh, sure. Um, now we'll present the school proposed new intermediate school facility at 21 31 and 38 Delavan Street, Brooklyn. Good morning, Council Member Ku and Council Members. My name is Gail Mandaro, and I'm a Senior Director and Counsel at the New York City School Construction Authority's Real Estate Department. Also with me is Benjamin Goodman and Tamar Smith, both Community Relations Managers at the SCA, and Michael Kona, a Real Estate Acquisition and Leasing Specialist for the Real Estate Group in the SCA. The New York City School Construction Authority has undertaken the site selection process for a new approximately 650-seat intermediate school facility on Block 523, Lots 1 and 13R in the Borough of Brooklyn. The site contains a total of approximately 60,000 square feet of lot area, 1.37 acres, and is located on the south side of Delavan Street, the east side of Richard Street, and the north side of Verona Street in the Red Hook section of Brooklyn. The site is comprised of two privately owned lots and is improved by a vacant two-story industrial building located on an unimproved lot. The site is located within Brooklyn Community District Number 6 and Community School District Number 15. Under the proposed project, the SCA will acquire the site and construct a new approximately 650-seat intermediate school facility. The notice of filing for the site plan was published in the New York Post and the City Record on November 9, 2017, at which time Community Education Council Number 15, Brooklyn Community Board Number 6, and the City Planning Commission were also notified of the site plan. The CEC and the Community Board were asked to hold public hearings on which the proposed site plan was presented. Brooklyn Community Board 6 and CEC 15 held a joint public hearing on the site on November 14, 2017. Written comments were not received from the Community Board and the CEC. The City Planning Commission did submit written comments dated December 18, 2017. The SCA has considered all comments received on the proposed site plan and affirms the site plan pursuant to Section 1731 of the New York Public Authorities Law. In accordance with Section 1732 of the PAL, the SCA submitted the proposed site plan to the Mayor and the City Council by letter dated June 3, 2019. We look forward to your subcommittee's favorable consideration of the proposed site plan and are prepared to answer any questions that the committee may have. Let's go on to the next one. Edward will grant. Good morning, um, Council Member Ku and Council Members. 
My name is Michael Kona. I am a senior project manager for real estate services in the New York City School Construction Authority Real Estate Department. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, as I said, good morning, Council Member Koo and Council Members. My name is Michael Kona. I am a senior project manager for real estate services in the New York City School Construction Authority's Real Estate Department. Also with me is Gail Mandero, Senior Director and Senior Attorney for Real Estate Services, SCA, Benjamin Goodman, Tamar Smith, uh, Community Relations Managers for the SCA. The New York City School Construction Authority has undertaken the site selection process for a new approximately 458-seat primary school facility on Block 2871, Lots 61 and 140 in the boroughs of the Bronx. The site contains a total of approximately 21,186 square feet of lot area. This is unimproved vacant land. Under the proposed project, the SCA plans to acquire the privately owned property and to construct a new approximately 458-seat primary school facility. The site is located within Bronx Community School Community District Number Four and Community School District Number Nine, in the High Bridge neighborhood. The notice of filing for the site plan was published in the New York Post and City Record on October 22, 2018. At which time, Community Council Number Nine, Community Board Number Three, and the City Planning Commission were also notified of the site plan. The CEC and the Community Board were asked to hold public hearings on the proposed site plan. Bronx Community Board Four held. A hearing on October 23rd, 2018, Community Education Council Number 9 held a public hearing on November 20th, 2018. No comments were received. The SCA affirms the site plan person to Section 1731, New York Public Authorities Law, in accordance with Section 1732 of the PAL. The SCA submitted the proposed site plan to the Mayor and City Council by letter dated June 3rd, 2019. We look forward to your committee's favorable consideration of the proposed site plan and we are prepared to answer questions from the committee. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions from our members? No? So please move on to the next one. Sure. Uh, again, good morning, uh, Council Member Koo and Council Members. My name is Michael Kona. I am Senior Project Manager for Real Estate Services in New York City School Construction Authority Real Estate Department. Also with me is Gail Mandero, Senior Director and Senior Attorney for Real Estate Services, SCA. Benjamin Goodman, Tamar Smith, Community Relations Managers for the SCA. The New York City School Construction Authority has undertaken the site selection process for a new approximately 458-seat primary school facility on Block 3014, Lot 16, in the borough of the Bronx. The site contains a total of approximately 14,770 square feet of lot area. The site is part of an area-wide rezoning project known as Crotona Park East West Farms Rezoning. It is currently vacant land used as a staging area for construction activities related to the large-scale general development project that occupies the remainder of the block. Under the proposed project, the SCA plans to acquire the privately owned property and to construct a new approximately 458-seat primary school facility. The site is located within Bronx Community, Sc Community District Number 9, Community School District Number 12, in the West Farms neighborhood. The notice of filing for the site plan was published in New York Post and City Record on April 20, 2018, at which time Community Education Council 12, Community and Bronx Community Board 3, and the City Planning Commission were also notified of the site plan. The CEC and Community Board were asked to hold public hearings on the proposed site plan. Community Board 3 held a public hearing on May 17, 2018. Community Education Council 3 held a public hearing on May 9, 2018. The City Planning Commission submitted written comments on May 22, 2018. 2018. No comments were received from Community Education Council and the Community Board. The ACA has considered all comments received on the proposed site plan and affirms the site plan person Section 1731 of New York Public Authorities Law in accordance with Section 1732 of the PAL. The SCA submitted the proposed site plan to the Mayor and City Council by letter dated June 3, 2019. We look forward to your subcommittee's favorable consideration of the proposed site plan and are prepared to answer questions from the committee. 
Thank you. Yeah. Any questions from uh, members? No? Uh, seeing none, uh, thank you. Oh, Councilmember Miller. I just wanted to go back to uh, the proposed Brooklyn site. Um, it's this one. Uh, Delvange, Delvange Street. Sir? And 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 I'm looking at those in relationship to the other three. That this was a, a 2017 project, and and the others appear to be moving much quickly, much more quickly, rapidly. Um, and and I understand the rezoning piece of it, but was there some specific uh, impediments that that uh, some things that the that or community or other concerns that that we are just uh, including this and moving along a 2017 project. Less about community yeah. concerns and more about the other three were negotiated arm's length transactions. Um, this one is moving a more slowly process. Uh, our environmental access studies took a little bit longer than we anticipated. Some of our traffic took a little longer than anticipated. Um, that's really the only explanation. It's not to anything to do with the community or any kind of different treatment for this property than others. Okay, and I, and I noticed that the community board nor the CSC, uh, CDC had any comments, any written comments on these as well. Correct. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, no more questions. Uh, thank you for your testimony. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much for your time. Good. Yeah. Are there any members of the public who wish to testify on these items? Seeing none, the public hearings on the considered LU related to applications 2018-5131-SCK, 2018-5333-SCX, 2019-5177-SCX, and 20195464 SCK are now closed. We will now vote on these four school uh, citing applications and the following applications which we heard at our May 2nd meeting. We are voting to approve five applications. LU's 398 through 402, submitted by HPD, pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law for approval of urban development area projects and waivers of the area destination requirements and of charter sections 197-C and 197-D. And pursuant to Article 9, uh, no, uh, pursuant to Article 11 of the Private Housing Finance Law, for exemptions from real property taxes. LU 398, the East Harlem slash El Barrio Community Land Trust, will facilitate the rehabilitation of 36 units of affordable housing in four city-owned buildings in Council Member Ayala and Perkins District in Manhattan. LU 399 and uh, the Lenners Avenue Cluster will facilitate the rehabilitation and conversion to cooperative ownership of seven partially occupied city-owned buildings located at 135 West 132nd uh, Street, and 406, 422, 424, 426, 428, and 432 Nenis Avenue, all in Central Harlem. The properties are located in Councilmember Perkins District in Manhattan. LU 400, 401, 402 are three of three applications to facilitate rehabilitation and preservation of five mixed-use residential buildings by community lead of the Heist Incorporated, Amsterdam, uh, 
TPT HDFC LU400 relates to a six-story building at, two, uh, at 2185 Amsterdam Avenue that currently contains 22 residential units in Council Member Walter Riggers District in Manhattan. LU401 relates to a six-story city-owned mixed-use building at 2110 Amsterdam Avenue that currently contains 13 residential units in Council Member Levine's district in Manhattan. LU402 relates to a two city-owned mixed-use buildings located at 2488-90 Adam Clayton Power Junior Boulevard and 2794 Frederick Douglass Boulevard that contains 29 res residential units in council members Perkins District. We will also vote to approve LU416 and 417. Two HPD applications related to the Manhattanville walkway at 437 West 126th Street in Council Member Levine's district in Manhattan. LU416 is an application pursuant to Section 197-C of New York City Charter for the acquisition of property located at 437 West 126th Street. LU417 is an application pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law of the destination for, for the destination of such property as an urban development action area and approval of an urban development action area project and pursuant to Charter Session 197-C for, for the disposition of such property to a developer to be selected by HPD. The proposed actions will facilitate the construction by the Janus Property Company of a landscape walkway that will serve public open space and potentially be used as an outdoor sitting area for local restaurants or for food stores or other community services. We will vote to approve LU418 the Brownsville North slash Ocean Hill Neighborhood Construction Program project in Council Member MP Samuels District in Brooklyn. HPD requests pursuant to Article 16 of the General Municipal Law approval of the destination of the property located at 379-383 Howard Avenue. Block 1446, Locks 1 and 3, and 1297 East New York Avenue, Block 1476, Lock 4, as an urban development action area and pursuant to Charter Session 197-C. Approval of the dispos uh, disposition of such properties to a developer to be selected by HPD. This application will facilitate the construction of two buildings containing a total of approximately 32 units of affordable housing. We, okay. we will vote to approve LU415, the JFK North Side, related to an application submitted by Judd Hendo Realty, LLC, and the New York City and Economic Development Corporation, pursuant to Section 197C and 199 of the New York City Charter, for a city map amendment and the authority for related acquisition or disposition, for a site in Council Member Richards District in Queens. The elimination of a map portion of Lasso Expressway will create 
two new tax locks in block 14260, which will be disposed to facilitate the development of a distribution and vehicle uh, uh, and vehicle repair facility for Barnett Dairy, a family-owned business. Yes. Now we want to ask uh, Councilmember uh, Gibson uh, to give a statement. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, colleagues. Thank you, uh, Chair Ku and all of my colleagues. I just quickly want to just really speak in abundant support of the application that's before the subcommittee related to uh, new school siting, 458-seat elementary school in School District 9, sub zone 2 in the borough of the Bronx at 1302 EL Grand Highway. I am very excited to bring a new school into our West Bronx community, recognizing that over the years, the population has continued to grow and really coming off the cusp of the Jerome Avenue rezoning that we successfully passed last March. Um, it is recognizing that we will always have a need for school seats for our children that are in the elementary grades and I'm really grateful to the School Construction Authority, to the City Council Land Use Division, to Jeff and, and, and everyone and Amy and uh, Raju for their collective support and I really want to ask all of my colleagues to please vote in support of this and recognize recognizing that in the Bronx, we always need more school seats for our children. Thank you so much, Mr. Chair. I appreciate your support. Thank you, Councilmember uh, Gibson. So we will continue, Ben. Um, so please consider LU410. The Haven Green application will be laid over. I now call for a vote to approve 2018-5131 SCK. 2018-5333-SCX, 2019-5177-SCX, and 2019-5464, and SCK. LUs 398-399-400-401-402-403. Four seventeen and four eighteen. Council, please call the roll. Baron. I vote aye. Miller. Aye. Koo. Aye. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and with zero abstentions, the items are recommended to the full land use committee. Thank you. Keep the vote open. So we will keep the vote open until until 15 minutes? He can't gavel out without a member here. No, I know. Nobody can leave. Okay. So okay. he's either so here or okay. Give me a second. you don't have a member unless you keep him. They, they were on their way. Give me 30 seconds. I promised him I know. Oh, it's 1.30. Getting in the elevator. I'm sorry. I tried to do this as That's right. close as I could, but they're definitely here and they're definitely coming into this building and they know. I'm sorry, don't shake your head at me. Come on, I was pretty good. I'm a minute off. Not you. <laughs> Them. Saying, a minute. Not Come on. you. I pulled this off. This was a co council member coup. Oh, so much money. <laughs> <laughs> I'll believe it when they're here. So much. <laughs> no, we did it quickly. I mean, this was. I'll, we, believe, SC, it I'll yeah. believe it when they're here. No, they're coming right now. They're on the committee. <laughs> Where's this coming? Traeger or what? What? Who's coming? Traeger. Mike is on. 